just find someone simple and straightforward. Well, you know Aaron. He never likes to make things easy. Robert's sucked and not. He, he's married, he's a pillock, and I can't go over the fact he's gay. Ears burning with her. We can make this really awkward, or we can try to have a reasonable discussion. I know which I'd prefer. Now's as good a time as any. Lead on. Alicia, mind the bar. Cheat, user, liar. I'm not bothered what you think about me. Oh, you will be. Oh, yeah, what about Aaron? Do you really want to risk him disappearing again? No, 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 no. If you're on about France, that was totally different. I am doing this for Aaron. You know what? He's warned me to keep out, otherwise that's us finished. But I will risk that to make sure that he doesn't get screwed over. I think we all know Aaron's his own worst enemy. I didn't need the scars on his body to tell me that. Yeah, but he's over that now. And he was in a good place until you came along. Yeah, and I was always with Chrissy. I've never pretended to be anything else. Why that makes it OK? Katie was on to you all along, and you made us think she was crazy. All right, so you... you're bisexual or whatever you are, and I really couldn't give a toss about your weird marriage of convenience, but I will not have you breaking Aaron's heart. Yeah, well, funnily enough, that was never the plan. You stay away from him. Otherwise, I will blow this whole thing to Chrissy. There's no need for that. Her husband was cheating on her before she even walked down the aisle. It's disgusting. Insulting. I'm sure she'll get over you. No one's that desperate. Yeah, well, that's why I'm calling the whole thing off. You're right. It's got way too messy. Just like that? Yeah. And we're meant to believe you? Yeah, I'm going to talk to him the next chance I get. I never meant to hurt anyone. Least of all, Aaron. Then end it. For good. Got your text. Just wait to see you. Yeah, well, I promised you I wouldn't see you again. What, you've talked to her? She wasn't happy. She reckons if we're ever in the same room again, she's going to go straight to Chrissy. Right, well, uh, I'll sort it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her we're finished. We'll just be more careful. Oh, until the next time you drop us in it. Or Chaz gets drunk and lets it slip. Have you any idea how much I stand to lose? I, I can't do this on my own. Robert, I can't. I can't sit around and watch everyone fall to pieces over Katie, and I know you can't either. OK, OK, but we have to call things off for a while. I just... I don't see any other way. For how long? I don't know. But until then, you don't even look at me. Going like that, are you? No, um... I'm not going. Right. <clears throat> Why? Because I can't be dealing with you watching over him and me. Hey, you know what, Aaron? You just do what you like. If you want to make Katie's funeral all about you and Robert... No, I'm not. Of course you are! You're still sulking at me and the rest of the world, so you can't be bothered to mourn a friend. My best mate. Mum, You know, I used to talk a lot to her about you. About you messing up, coming out, Jackson. Yeah, I know. And she was always there for me. Always. But now she's gone. Who am I supposed to talk to now? When my own son can't even stand to be in the same room as me. Sorry. What are you doing? Chrissy's next door. You know, I wasn't even going to go today. I was just going to stay away. I told you, you can't be here. No, I don't care anymore. My mum's in bits over this. And let's just calm down. No. I can't stand there today holding her on knowing we were there when Katie died. And you can't do that to Andy. Robert! Listen, I'm begging you. Let's just talk. No, we're done talking. We're telling him. Both of them. Today. And if you don't, then I will. Have you told Chaz? <clears throat> no. I'm going to tell her at the wake. And looking through this book of memories, I was struck by just how many entries Mention Casey's kindness, 
and warmth. Everyone's written in it. Her ability to, to provide so much joy and laughter to her friends and family. If he doesn't stop that, there's going to be another funeral. It's also clear. A lot of us have known Katie since she was very young. And saddened, we were unable to prevent what happened that day. Such sadness at such a senseless accident is perhaps inevitable, but also futile, as is any guilt or regret. And all of us here, all of those whose lives she touched should feel heartened to know that she is now in the protection of a God who unconditionally loves her and cares for her every bit as much as we did. Andy. I do want to say something. I, I just want to say thank you for helping me get through this. All your support. I couldn't have asked for anything more. In particular, you, Rob. I'm so glad we're becoming friends again. So thank you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. <coughs> your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven.